Hello and welcome to Atmanirbhar Bharat, the makers for Indian defence, our exclusive series that brings to the fore the work of those organisations that aim to safeguard the borders of India with the latest high-tech and world-class defence technologies. My name is Sumit Lakhotia and on this edition, we bring forth three unique companies which are making a mark in the defence sector with their innovation and pioneering technological advancements. All right, now let me first introduce the Kalyani Group, a US dollar 3 billion Indian multinational conglomerate with over 50 years of experience and 10,000 global workforce having the largest repository of metallurgical know-how, design and engineering expertise and manufacturing prowess globally, making it one of the leading players in the Indian manufacturing sector. Here's an insight to the Indian multinational conglomerate. Founded in 1966, the Kalyani Group happens to be the largest exporter of auto components from India and has built a sustainable and durable customer base across the global market. With its robust know-how on metallurgical, engineering and manufacturing capabilities, the Kalyani Group has become a pioneer in the artillery market. Within a few years, the group has earned a breakthrough in artillery systems. As a group, we are highly involved in the process of manufacturing metallurgical uh, components and systems. Uh, and metallurgy is, of course, one of the oldest sciences uh, in terms of uh, forming material, metals, etc. But it's also a very complicated science. It's not an easy science uh, to master. Now, this, uh, this is something that we have mastered uh, over the last... Uh, I would say 60 years of our existence and uh, uh, we are in the global uh, uh, level, we are considered as amongst the top two or three in our business uh, in, the, in the manufacture of metallurgical components. Now the philosophy behind our business has always been uh, uh, innovate things yourself, uh, uh, you know, make things by yourself, create your own technology, own your own intellectual property. So we have never depended on uh, any foreign company to get uh, technology or you know, those kind of things for our base business here. And that's why we've been reasonably successful uh, with our own capability. We have a large uh, uh, supply of our products that goes all over the world, uh, right from North America, Europe, South America, Asia, almost 10 years ago, uh, we decided that uh, uh, we should do something in the area of defense. I mean, one of the things that used to bug me all the time was that, uh, you know, a country as big as ours, and we are still importing such a large amount of uh, uh, defense equipment from outside. We started first with uh, artillery. Uh, 2012 was the first time we uh, demonstrated a, a production of a complete artillery gun in the Defense Expo in Delhi in 2012. Uh, of course, that was the first model, uh, first prototype. And from there on, uh, we have now come to a level, at least in this field, where we have a tremendous recognition uh, uh, that we have the capability not only to manufacture, but to design and develop uh, modern artillery systems. So we have uh, designed and developed almost six uh, platforms. Out of the six platforms, four have been uh, test fired. And uh, two of these platforms are now ready for production. That means they have gone through a lot of testing, etc. They're ready for production. The other two platforms will also get ready for production in the next six months. The company has successfully penetrated India's defence forces and export market in protected vehicles and defence system with ammunitions, helicopters, defence electronics, marine systems and small arms being emerging sectors for demand. Among the most popular is Advanced Stored Artillery Gun System or ATAGS. A towed 155mm 52 caliber howitzer developed for the Indian Army by the Defence Research and Development Organisation manufactured by the Kalyani Group. The company is responsible for contributions in gun structure control and automation with barrel, breech and battery command post. 
This gun consists of a barrel, breech mechanism, muzzle brake and recoil mechanism to fire 155mm caliber ammunition with a firing range of 48 kilometers. We have uh, very high standards and uh, in our uh, traditional business lines, which was basically on commercial vehicles and passenger vehicles, we were supplying high performance components with very high quality manufacturing techniques. And we actually replicated the similar manufacturing technique for our defense product. Today, we have a program of Industry 4.0, we have a program of digital manufacturing and all this is leading to a very high quality manufacturing in defense. Garuda 105 is another product that is making headlines in the defense market. Compared to 3 tons for other average artillery pieces, this product is an ultra lightweight mobile gun system with a gross weight of 1 ton. It is based on an all-terrain vehicle with mountainous terrain maneuverability. We designed a weapon that is light, goes on a 4x4 four four, uh, truck and we called it Go Anywhere we Truck, Go Anywhere Weapon. And we showed this in uh, the last Defence Expo in Lucknow. And the Army was very interested in that and then it went for extensive trials, almost for I think six months or so uh, in the Northeast and came back uh, with flying colors uh, in the trials. Uh, now similarly, but that is a 105 uh, gun. Now the uniqueness of that gun, a normal 105 field gun, you know, India has been making 105 field guns for 30, 40 years now, or maybe 50 years. Okay, ordnance factories have been making it. It, is, it was designed on the British field gun, which came from uh, uh, UK. Now that field gun is a typical uh, artillery gun weighs about three tons. That's a stored gun. Our gun, uh, we we reduced the weight to 900 kilograms. Uh, we were able to use aluminum uh, structure. The reason we were able to use aluminum structure is we figured out how to reduce the recoil forces by good engineering and by some uh, proprietary mechanisms. So our recoil forces became less. Gun became light, it could sit on a small jeep type uh, vehicle and then you put independent suspension on that jeep type vehicle and you put enough power in the engine, uh, this thing can go anywhere. Uh, we have to understand that any company that wants to be part of uh, the Indian uh, manufacturing ecosystem, whether it's defense, whether it's otherwise, uh, has to be dependent on a whole host of tier 1s, tier 2s, tier 3s, tier 4s, okay? So that includes MSMEs, technocrats, startup uh, groups, and that includes larger enterprises. So it is important that you create this entire rainbow of, uh, uh, you know, ecosystem under which this entire defense industry will thrive. That was indeed thought-provoking statement by Mr. B. N. Kalyani. This is why Kalyani Group is considered to be the forerunners in their sector.